In this video we're going to be taking a look at switching the PHP version in Docker for Drupal. We're going to check the current PHP version in our Drupal's status page. We're going to have a look at the .n file and how we could switch the PHP version. And we're going to check on the GitHub page of Docker for Drupal where should we search when there is a newer PHP version. So here we have a Drupal instance installed and it's running with Docker for Drupal and in order to see the PHP version that we're currently using we would simply go under reports and then under status report and here we simply see that PHP version is 7.3.6 which is perfect it is always a good idea to use the latest possible version of PHP because it makes your site faster and generally it's a perfect idea to use the latest PHP version. So let's have a look at how we could switch the PHP version. We would not be able to switch it with higher version because this is the highest for now but let's Imagine that, for example, on a server where we're going to be deploying our website, there is just a PHP version 7.1 and we want to test it before we deploy it there. So we're going to switch the version here to 7.1. So if we jump to our code base, we see that we have the Docker Compose file, which we don't need now but basically in the .env file we see that we have here a php tag and currently as you see the uncommented one is 7.3 the one we saw that is currently active and if we simply comment it out and we comment basically the 7.1 and we save the .n file and we jump to the terminal and when we're in the folder with the docker compose yaml file when we run docker compose up minus d we see that basically the php container is restarted also the nginx one and that means that our change basically took effect so let's jump back to the Drupal instance and let's refresh the report status page and we'll see that now the version that our website is running on is 7.1 which is exactly what we wanted so now we see that in the .end file currently we have just until 7.3 how would we know what to write when there is a 7.4 version and how would we be able to switch it? So it's very easy. When there is a 7.4 version or whatever higher version, we simply have to go to the Docker for Drupal's GitHub page. It is on GitHub, what be Docker for Drupal? And we simply have to have a look at the .n file. So the same .n file that we have on our local environment. And here we see that currently there is again 7.3 and there are 7.2, 7.1 and 5.6. The same as we have on our local environment. But when there is a newer version here, let's say 7.4, we simply would be able to copy this and then simply paste it on our local and make sure that the latest version is uncommented then we go back again to the terminal and run again docker compose up minus d in order to restart it so when we add here the newest variable value the php tag variable value and then basically where it's used is in the docker compose yaml file and under image as you see here it's the php tag 
So basically it would download the word Bidrupo PHP image that has the latest tag. So you don't have to worry about it because simply Docker would download the correct image from the internet. So that's it. If you like this video, please check the links in the description, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.